Welcome everyone to another Maple video. So today I wanted to run through the Neo update and have a chat about what the overall event looks like and how the different stores work. So it is a bit confusing with the different stones, so I wanted to explain those first. From left to right, you've got the ones that come from your daily mobbing, so killing mobs around your level. The middle, the blue one, comes from mini games, which I'll run through as we get through the video, and then the red ones are from weekly bosses. So I'll run through that once we get up to that part as well, but yeah, I just wanted to lay out exactly what those are for because there isn't just one currency. It's a uh, yeah, bit of a, a mixed bag in terms of uh, what you get from what uh, coin. So to begin with, I wanted to start with the area that I'll be focusing on most just because I like what comes from this specific NPC. So what you've got here is the standard beat-em-up style mob where you have to get a certain amount of points within a certain time frame and it just comes down to how much damage you can put out uh, within that time frame. This one is a little bit more difficult than the previous ones that I've covered uh, where it's uh, I don't actually get all the way up to 1.5k, I only managed to get up to 1.3. Uh, but yeah, it's it's something that gives you uh, growth potions and since I'm working on the jet at the moment That's something that interests me more than other stuff in the shop Like there are different items that I, I want to uh, look at getting but this is something that I'll make sure I do every day Just to make sure that I'm capping out on the amount of points Possible it's it doesn't really bother me that much that I fall 200 short This character isn't as strong as a lot of other people uh, in this game, so I'm happy just to be able to do what I can do. Maybe I'm missing something about uh, the mobs when it gets up to that next stage. So we're at stage 11 here. When I get up to stage 12, I uh, just wanted to show my range as well, just for those curious as to what kind of damage I'm putting out. Uh, but yeah, so I kind of hit a wall. Uh, something happens here with the laser where, yeah, it's... um, I, Maybe I hit the, the limit in terms of how much how many hits I can have uh, in that one spot. Uh, but yeah, it proved to be a, a little bit tricky. Uh, so yeah, we, we get through it up to 1.3, so uh, 1,300 points uh, with about 50 seconds to go, and then the mobs change. I'm not sure if there's something specific that I'm missing about these mobs. I am hitting them and doing damage, uh, but it's uh, very slow in terms of how the health bar moves down. So you'll see what I mean now, uh, where we're doing damage, uh, you have to take out the mobs below it before you can start doing damage to the overall thing if you just want to use snipe like I'm using. Uh, but they are taking quite a lot of hits and not really going down, so I figured I'd beam dance it. Maybe I'm just not strong enough, I don't know. It's a, it's a bit strange. Uh, but yeah, so we do run out of time and we get a score of uh, 1300, uh, which is still decent. You know, I'll show you the, the store where I can purchase the growth potions from uh, up next so you can get an idea of... Uh, how many uh, potions you can get and what the cost of the different tiers are. The nice perk about the store is that there is no limit on the amount of uh, potions that you can purchase. It just comes down to how many coins you've got. Uh, so if I'm falling 200 short, then uh, that means I'm missing out on a little bit, but uh, it's not the end of the world. It's uh, the best that I've got uh, in terms of you know, if I use the Corsair or the Jet, I'd certainly get less points. And this is a sort of thing where you can only do it one character or for the entire world, I believe. I haven't tried it on Reboot to see if I can do that as well. Uh, but you can talk to the same NPC to open his store. So here are the different uh, growth potions and they range in different level ranks. So I'll certainly be cashing in on these to benefit the jet. I'm interested to see how the curve is uh, with this Neo update as well because they've released level 300 so that's out now as you can see the xenon has uh, uh, zero point something percent uh, exp i can't believe they've actually added a third decimal point in there that really emphasizes how slow this is going to be uh, but the curve has changed from 210 to 249 so i'll be interested to see exactly how much easier it is to get to 250 because uh, keep in mind I did the Corsair to 250 in between getting 275 on the Xenon and level 300 coming out so I got to see what the training was like on that character prior to this change and of course I did 250 on the Xenon uh, before 275 came out so uh, I've kind of experienced all of them. Uh, the jet will be interesting, the Corsair wasn't too bad. Uh, so here we are with the stores, uh, as I was saying there are different currencies so this currency that you use comes from the daily mobs. 
and there is a certain amount of uh, cores you need in order to get through to the next stage but all of these ones it's just all the standard stuff that you come across in event shops um, the monster life uh, coupons are worthwhile looking at so are the arcane symbols if uh, if you need them the one thing that I was sad to see was that they didn't have the new uh, sacred force uh, in there uh, to purchase because I'd love to be able to buy some of that right now because uh, I'm working on that as well with uh, Cernium which is a difficult difficult area it's it's very strange it feels like I'm doing Vanishing Journey all over again with a fresh character with no symbols it, it hurts quite a lot uh, so this one is the embossing one so the red cores which were on the very right when I started the video interesting things you can get from here like bonus potential cubes uh, same with flames and all of that and then your standard boxes so these ones come from doing certain bosses so there is a list that they provide and I'll do some bossing at the end of this and show you how the store works because uh, I first thought that maybe the bosses dropped the cores as well uh, but you'll you'll see what happens uh, once I get up to it and uh, yeah so here he is explaining how it works there are different weekly bosses that you can do each week and they have a different tier of how many cores they're going to give so the harder the boss the harder the amount of points you get and you have to remember to claim it each week or you'll lose out so I believe you have to claim it by each Wednesday with the reset being Thursday and uh, yep yeah, so it's it's an interesting uh, setup so here is the list uh, you've got your things like your CRA bosses uh, Hilla Pink Bean, so you've got Chaos Pink Bean in there, Chaos Sackum, Chaos Pap, and then uh, yeah, you get up to your harder stuff as well with your Lotus and your Wills and uh, Hiller and all of those in there. I don't think Black Mage is in there, which is an interesting one to uh, omit, to leave out, uh, but yeah, there are some interesting ones in there. I do the majority of those on a weekly basis anyway, so I'll just be adding to it and purchasing cubes through that. Uh, so these are the mini game ones. So this is the the blue cores that were in the middle. I'm not too interested in this area, particularly just because it's all cosmetic. And as you can see from my character, I've just got a mishmash of uh, NX items. But this is one of the mini games that you can do. Uh, so you just have to pick the right track to be on to dodge the clouds. It, uh, look, it's it's. I, I had a little bit of fun doing it. I'm not really that big on mini games at all, so I'm not really going to be focusing on this too much. I might buy some of the chairs because you've got chairs in there that you can purchase with Meso that you don't need to worry about unlocking. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's uh, just jumping side to side, getting your timing right. And uh, I messed up there, so no Neo Gems for me there. Uh, you also have one card which you can play, which is your Uno style game. Again, it's uh, just a, a mini game that's uh, nice to use, uh, fun to play if you've got uh, a group of people. Uh, you do have to rely on others to be there in order to get the points. I have seen instances where people just AFK in it uh, just to get the points, uh, which is uh, fair enough, but I don't think it makes for a fast game, which can be a little bit frustrating in that regard. Uh, but yeah, so here are the chairs that you can purchase for Meso, so I might, yeah, I think I'd try to buy this one here, but I don't have the storage because I've got way too many chairs, but I'll come back and pick it up at some point. Then you've got a damage skin there as well. And yeah, so just your standard cosmetic shop. Here's the one card NPC. And uh, yeah, so look, it's it's nice that it offers you a variety of ways to get coins. So just, it's not the same old, uh, just go and kill however many mobs to get it. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna farm on the Corsair this time around. I might just uh, focus on the Xenon because I think I capped out that 300 uh, gems from just doing the Cernium dailies because that's you know, quite time consuming at the moment so I might just do that and then uh, yeah like I said I'm working on the jet so maybe I, I might find them on the jet as well I'll see how it goes because uh, yeah the Frenzy Totem is on the jet at the moment uh, so I don't have it uh, available on the Xenon but I find that the spawns in Cernium are alright at the moment anyway. Before we jump into the bossing, there is one other thing I would suggest that people do, and that is accept Leo's reward. Uh, so what this is, is a weekly set of tasks where you have to complete them from top to bottom and you get a certain reward for each thing. It's a weekly task which can be completed across all characters in the same world. So at the moment I'm training on the jet, so I can do the 10,000 monsters fairly easily just with the uh, uh, monsters that I'm training on in uh, Reverse City. 
and you've got the 20 elite monsters or elite champions use seven runes and clear five polo frito bounty hunting tasks so let's jump into the bossing so we'll start off with uh queen here just to show you how it all works uh but yeah so at first i was thinking that you take out the boss and then it drops it quite like how it drops the bossing crystal but don't worry that it doesn't show up because uh yeah all you have to do is go back and have a chat uh, to our friend the collector back in the uh the the shop uh the, the shop area and then uh, just the event area so yeah open the box as normal i was hoping to see something red pop out there as well but it doesn't and my pets loot everything there and nothing goes up in the corner there either with the, with the gem counter uh, so i was just like oh, all right well uh we'll just keep on going then since it's obviously not here uh which is uh yeah look it's an interesting setup with that npc my only criticism of it would be i'd love for it to have an accept all option uh, because what it does here is you go i want to claim uh, the cause and then it will give you a list of ones that you can choose from uh, so i've done chaos queen and then prior to doing this one i'd also done normal healer uh oh, hard healer sorry so that that gave me some points as well um, but yeah so there it is with uh with how you redeem it and then you can just go back to uh, doing a different bosses so i'll just run through here and do von von vellum and pierre just because it happened to be my bossing night for my character while i was recording all of this uh but yeah so the the update's interesting it certainly is a big bit of content uh a lot to uh digest in terms of the stuff that they've done they've done a lot of um minor uh just life improvement changes i'd say uh i will put out a video in terms of talking about like my top three favorite things about the update um level 300 is interesting in terms of the amount of exp required it certainly will take a while for someone to do it i can't really put an, uh, anything down on when i'll get it uh, i'm certainly not training as much uh, and i don't really plan on training on this character at all at the moment uh, i will go and do some meso farming but there's just some things that i'm tossing up at the moment uh, but i will work on the jet first and get that to where i want it to get it so that i can do some bossing videos on it i will just go in here and do i believe this is vellum yep and then uh yeah so there's a there's a few interesting things that they've done so they added a new area to monster park so they added a latch and i believe they reworked uh choo choo island as well i found choo choo quite annoying to do just the the third and fourth stage with the water was just annoying trying to get all those mobs on the different platforms but yeah i still put up with it and i did it uh but latch is nice it's a it's a nice uh run uh to do and uh yeah look i'm almost at capping the runs on the corsair so i'll have the the nice medal that you get for doing 700 uh, 77 runs uh on each day uh to get that medal because it's uh it doesn't compare to the beta medal obviously uh but yeah it's a, it's certainly a nice one to get and then i can start working on the jet to get it on that one too uh so yeah so that's vellum down i actually did that differently to how i normally do it i normally get lazy and just let my laser take care of it but uh hey it's uh quick enough just to take him out like that bind him and, and get it done uh, so that's another thing there and uh yeah so again with the the red gems there are a number of bosses that i don't do regularly uh so i will miss out on points there which is look it's it's fine um i'm not that crazy about everything that's in the shop there are certain like nice things in terms of those cubes and all of that and if you can get them it's great uh but if not i wouldn't worry too much about it like there there is a lot of fomo in this at the moment in terms of like fear of missing out on certain things that you've got in the shops uh but yeah just um focus on a certain area that you want to benefit from like such as the uh the level up uh, potions uh, that i targeted at the start of the video you know i'm working on secondary and third uh characters and uh yeah just leveling up like that it's a, it's a nice little bonus if i make use of the cubes then then it's good but if not then you know that's fine 
So uh, that is Pierre down, and that is the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching this one. What do you think of the Neo update? Do you think it's a, a nice, refreshing change? You know, is there anything you wanted to see happen that, that hasn't come about? Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll look forward to Kane coming out in about a week and a half's time. Look forward to putting out the next video. Keep an eye out for more Pokemon stuff, and I'll be coming out with uh, more Maple stuff in uh, the next week or so. See you later.